You know, it's always interesting. I think, um, so first of all, how the last couple of weeks materialized. Well, my last couple of weeks um, at the University of Washington were not, you know, ideal, you know, for what I, I'm used to. Um, but that's, you know, college football and it kind of is what it is. Um, but, you know, I actually was I, I, I laughed because I was sitting in a in my in the special teams room over at the University of Washington and um, I'm updating my resume, something that I hadn't had to do for a long time. And I actually had called Andy and I'm like, Andy, just to give you a heads up, I'm putting your name on my resume as a as a reference. <laughs> He's like, you really called me to make sure I said, yeah, I didn't want anybody calling. You don't want them calling you asking about me. So, um, you know, so that was kind of the start. And then um, it was probably maybe a week, maybe a longer after that, once the season finished. Uh, actually, it was probably about, you know, a week after that, you know, he gave me a call it was you know, nine o'clock at night, eight thirty nine. you know, so it was late and obviously Boise and, you know, I'm sitting there hanging out and it's like, Oh, I'm talking to you about something. And I'm like, okay, what's up? So I'm, we're talking, we're talking. And at this point it's not really anything like, Hey, we want you to come back. It's just, you know, he's asked me about, you know, how it was, you know, how I've grown and things like that. And at this point it's 11 o'clock. So my wife comes upstairs and now I'm going downstairs so she can go to sleep. And he goes, I, I think you, I think we really could, you know, use you. Um, you know, I think, you know, just, you know, being a veteran guy and, you know, being at Boise during the time when, you know, this place was building and got, got a chance to build and do some special things. And then being at University of Washington and building some special things. And, you know, just now, you know, at one point I was a younger guy on the staff and now I'm one of the older guys on the staff, which is quite interesting. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, you know, you could be uh, a great asset to the players, to the coaches, to the program, uh, just with some leadership skills and things like that, that, you know, talking to other guys that you've worked with. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, I, that could be cool, you know, and it wasn't like that could be cool. Like, I don't want to do that. It was more like, OK, this is this probably has a chance, you know. And uh, so he's like, man, just think about it. You know, so I you know, took about three or four days. And, you know, I, you know, did get some opportunities for some other programs that, you know, I won't talk about. Um, but, you know, just, I think the one thing, um, hopefully the people that know me, uh, especially that were with me, uh, you know, early on, you know, I see Bob on here, uh, Jay, you've been around this thing for a long time. I'm not a guy that uh, up and moves uh, all the time. Um, you know, I was here from 06 to 13, didn't leave until uh, Coach Peterson left and, you know, really from 14 to 21 wasn't really uh, planning on uh, leaving the University of Washington. But at the end of the day, uh, the one thing that I do find comfort in is good people. Um, and over my course of my time uh, here at Boise State, I was able to be influenced and be around some really good people. Um, and so as I got to think about that and going through talking to some of those other staffs that I had a chance to talk to, and I'm not saying those weren't good people, but it just, it just didn't feel the same. It didn't feel as, uh, I, I didn't see, see as myself as, as much as an asset as Andy was making it feel like, um, it didn't have as much of a, a, a heart tug, uh, to be able to come, come back to a place like this, uh, uh, and be able to feel like you have an influence, feel like, you know, what you did here in the past matter, you know what I mean? Matters. Um, so, you know, I thought about it, talked to my wife about it and it was, you know, three or four day process. And I, you know, I kind of went through, I think it was a weekend or whatever. And I called Andy on a Monday and I'm like, man, let's, I, let's make this happen. You know, um, great decision. It's been a, one of the best decisions. I was kind of asking my wife, well, I hope everybody still is excited. <laughs> is it going to be excited that I'm coming back or even wants me back, you know, because uh, you just don't know, you know, how, how things can play out. Um, but the one cool thing, you know, I will say, and, you know, hopefully I get a chance to meet everybody in person um, and not just on the Zoom thing. I'm tired of Zoom just so we're on the same page. But, uh, you know, the one thing that, you know, I do appreciate is, and, you know, it's, it's humbling within itself. You come back into a building and you come back, you go over to the old, uh, my old football building that I know that is now Preco, whatever else they have over there. I remember my office used to be a bathroom and, and now it's like, <laughs> I don't know what it is now, but, um, you know, just to, you know, the handshakes and the hugs and, you know, things like that is, is, is really humbling and a really uh, special feel of, you know, being able to come back to a place like this and realize how important, um, 
you were while you were here and just how important these the people here were to me as far as my growth and development from as a football coach and not only as a football coach, but as a man as well.